Welcome back and thank you for watching to Lita's longest running 9 a.m. show. Wouldn't this make for a great Saturday? Just browsing an old country store, yeah. sampling everything from local honey mm -hmm. to Amish, you know, treats, jams, pickles, coffee, breads, you name it. All, all of, of it. that good yeah. stuff. Yes, well, you can do that this Saturday Ooh. in Pemberville. Our John Monk for Go419 has the delicious details. Good morning, John. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we're here in Pemberville at Beaker's General Store, one of the longtime, you know, foundations of this sort of downtown area in Pemberville. I'm joined with owner Todd. Thanks for having us today. Good morning. Now, if, if for folks who haven't been here, you know, first initially want to do a little history lesson. So give us sort of the synopsis history of your general store here. Beaker's is 146 years old. Wow. Uh, it's always been a general store, one of the first buildings built here in the downtown, mm -hmm. and it's been a general store its entire life. I guess why is it important for you then to keep that, you know, uh, over a century long legacy going here? Well, uh, you when you uh, get up in the morning, you know that you have to report in because <laughs> it's been in continuous operation. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's, it's history and uh, we want to continue that for folks to enjoy. So I guess what 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 brings people in? What what products do you guys offer? And, you know, because I'm seeing a lot of, you know, artisan unique goods here. That's absolutely correct. We have a lot of handcrafted product from local artisans, locally sourced product, um, product from the Amish. Uh, so just lots of unique things, um, things that you're maybe not going to find everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's what the general store was about and should be about, just a mix, a nice mix of product. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys can hear this on the microphones I'm wearing, but you know these floors are creaking. And so you, you walk in and you just feel like you're being brought back in time in it's, this place. It's not like like every store, we do have the old wooden floor, we have the tin ceiling, yeah. so um, it's kind of unique. All right, so, so we're here today because you guys are offering a, a tasting on, on folks, a sampling of what you guys offer. So tell us what's happening this Saturday. This Saturday, that's correct. It's the 28th from 10 to 3 here in the general store. And then we are um, kind of overflowing into the space next door. We call it Sampling Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, we sample a tremendous amount of product. Uh, so you actually get to taste uh, what do the uh, fried green beans taste mm -hmm. like? What does the granola taste like? So uh, then we have a little competition as well. Well, where folks have uh, been able to pick up a brown bag with one food item, uh, they have no clue what they're getting, and then they have to bring it back, use it in a recipe with samples for the public to taste. Yeah, you had mentioned like cram, like if you can look up there, can you, there's cranberry cranberry sauce you're, you're using over there. A couple years ago, there's some sweet garlic that the winner of this sampling won. And uh, w what do we have here that you're going to have me sample? Here Just today? a very simple Asiago cheese with some crumbled bacon. It's just a very easy appetizer, but uh, that Asiago cheese we think is delightful. Mm. <laughs> I've never had, I, I, I've had Asiago cheese before, but as the spread with crumbled bacon. This is delicious. Where does this come from? Um, it comes from Troyer's. Uh, it's an Amish product. Uh, proud to sell it here at Beaker's. All right, so if you have an appetite this weekend, especially during the lunch hour, you um, can definitely fill up, you know, on multiple things here. This that's right. We'll be uh, serving beverages, all kinds of pickles, relishes, mustards, all kinds of fun things. You know, I just took a big bite. Sorry, guys, but you, you line this up with the Super Bowl, son. Day, right? We always try to get it in before the Super Bowl so that folks can pick up some new appetizer ideas. We have recipes printed for folks to take, so we always try to get it in right before the Super Bowl. And the recipe from the competitions, Correct. like the winners or Correct. even the people who, who are just you All know, of the entries, we have the recipes here and available for folks to take with them. All right, guys, well, you know, I'm going to hang out here a little longer at Beaker's, going to finish off this Asiago cheese and maybe sample some more stuff. If you want to sample what they have to offer here in Pemberville, it's a short drive from Toledo, short drive from Bowling Green, pretty centrally located here in the in the southern eastern area of, of the rural area outside of Toledo. So give this a try on Saturday. We'll have more coming up later this afternoon for my Go For Wine story that airs at 5:30 on more from Beaker Street. But for now, reporting live from Pemberville, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11. That sounded really good. Yeah, that looks really good. Bacon on the Asiago spread. Oh, yeah. savory. Very savory. Yeah, good stuff. I'm all about sample Saturday. And what? And as I mentioned, the timing is the big thing, too. With Super Bowl next weekend, you can get yes. all your dips and snacks and things like that. That's a great idea. I know, because everybody's going to have the party, and you never know what's And you're going to have the unique stuff. Yes. Yeah.